Hi, Julie here. Happy Saturday. Uh, coming to you live from my car and I'm about to go shopping, but I wanted to hop in and um, I was doing some work this morning and I, um, you know, it's funny because I, when I think about business in general, um, I think about those that I've been helping, you know, my my clients, my students, uh, just everybody in, in my community here. And I've really kind of seen this recurring theme happen. And so I just wanted to hop on and talk to you about it. But before I do, let me know, say hello. Happy weekend, everybody. Hey, Tracy. What's up, girl? Hi, Lisa. Um, yeah, I'm going to be talking about the one thing that basically most network marketers, most entrepreneurs are really not doing. See, we, we focus on the stuff that we're really good at, which is good. Okay. But in business, there's one thing that kind of goes by the weight side because there's like an aversion to it. Okay. And no, it's not, it's not necessarily sales. Cause I know a lot of people have issues with sales. Hey Ken, what's up? But it's something that I've been I've learned about it's something I've been studying and it's I feel the reason why I've been as successful as I've been so if you're here and you're new to who I am real quick my name is Julie Burke um, I'm the founder of create success with Julie.com and what I specialize in is I help entrepreneurs and network marketers um, really just leverage their time through teaching them online marketing strategies okay um, I've done network marketing for six years. I've done it all different ways. I've done home parties for people on my team. I've done three-way calls. I've, um, I know they tell you to make the list of a hundred. I've done it that way. But what I've found is that building through, um, curiosity marketing and social media is so much better. <laughs> okay. It's so much better. So I no longer do home parties. I no longer do three-way calls. It is not something that we do on our team. And so I love teaching others how to leverage their time. If you'd like to leverage your time, drop me a one in the comment section because um, it's awesome to be able to build your business anytime, anywhere in the world, okay? And so when I was talking to, I think it was um, yesterday, I was talking to one of my clients and, and it really kind of hit me that what I see people on is, you know, most times entrepreneurs, we want, we have a heart, right? We have heart. We want to create more of an impact. I mean, I'm saying it all the time. I'm truly blessed to be able to um, create a global impact. I have a global team. I have a community, my fan page community, which is global. And yet people, they focus on that, right? That's probably why you're in network marketing because you came in, you fell in love with the product and you have a solution for others as well as you understand that there's a business side to it. But why I feel that a lot of network marketers struggle out there, you guys, is because they're not learning this one thing. And the one thing is marketing. Okay. And they feel like it's a shameless plug or they feel like there's this adversion to it. They almost kind of relate marketing to sales. Okay. Because people have all the negativity around, um, how, you know, I don't want to be the used car salesman. Okay. Here's the thing. I know that you have to market. And so what I mean is this, if you have a business, so when I own my Jimmy John's franchise, I used to own a franchise. If I didn't market my business, then nobody would come into my shop right? If, if they're, mark, people are marketing all day long. Businesses are marketing all day long, but yet in network marketing, which has the word marketing in it, we don't realize that we actually have to learn how to market. Um, and so it's not something that you do to people, okay? It's something that you do for people. And so if you believe in your story if you believe in your product, if you believe in your message, if you believe it's changing lives, 
then why are you not learning how to market it properly? Okay. And so I just wanted to hop in here and give you that one tip because, and, and then I'm going to uh, leave you with some, a really good, um, there's a really good book. I can't even think of it right now, but if you go to Amazon, Seth Godin is awesome with marketing and James Melichuk, if you know who he is, Melichuk, he's the, the millionaire speaker. You guys, I'm telling you right now, learn how to marketing. Okay. It's letting people know that you exist. That's all marketing is. It's letting people know that, and you owe that to people. That's the thing. If, if, if you bring joy to people, if you bring a solution to people, it's okay to get paid for it. See, and I think that's another thing is that in business and inside of network marketing, some people tend to shy away because they know that there's a monetary, there's something monetary that comes along with it. Okay. But yeah, I market all day long. I'm constantly marketing to my list. I'm constantly marketing to my, my audience, to, to my potential prospects. Um, but there's a right way and there's a wrong way. You don't have to do it in a slimy manner. Okay. So marketing is what you really want to learn. Okay. If you guys agree with me, drop me a two in the comment section, because I feel like this is an important topic because not many people talk about it because not many people teach network marketing in terms of like teaching network marketers how to sell and market the right way, the proper way. Um, and I know that, and that's something that, and, and what I see, and the reason why I started my training company two years ago is I saw a lot of people just spamming all over the place on social media. Well, now there's more, obviously, people in this profession that are rising up network marketers and teaching them, right? There's, you know, the Ray Higgins, there's Rap Sperry, um, Fraser Brooks, you know, there's a, a, and they're all friends of mine, right? We've all become friends. And so I love it because where there's, you know, millions of network marketers out there and people in direct sales. And I truly feel like this profession is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, but there is a, a wrong way and there's a right way. And there's still a lot of people doing it the wrong way. So I really just want to impress upon you that learning how to market, learn how to market yourself, learn how to market your product, your service and your opportunity the right way. It's not a shameless plug. The reason I market is because I know I have, I know I have things that can help another person, and I'm okay with it. If people want to unsubscribe from me, guess what? Unsubscribe. They don't need to be in my world then. And so I truly believe in my story. I truly believe in my message, and I truly believe in what I have could help people. Whether it's my own products, whether it's my network marketing company, so no one could disrupt my belief, and that's what I want you guys to understand. People want to unsubscribe from your from following you. Who gives a crap? Learn how to market the right way and business will grow. I promise you. I've learned how to do it. I continue to learn how to do it. That is probably what I studied the most. I don't study personal development and all that stuff. Okay. I might read something here and there or listen to something here and there, but I know I already have a really good foundation belief. I, you know, I, money doesn't, I love money, so I don't have my money story, right? Like I've already worked on that. So I'm not going to focus there. I'm going to focus on sales and marketing. Okay. Like that's the flip side of the coin of your business. So I'm not going to already focus on what I'm really good at, which is, you know, rising people up. Um, not allowing them to live in their, their crap for a really long time, right? Like I've gotten really good at that. I'm, I'm good at pulling people out of their funk. What I want to focus on is strengthening my skills in how to market and how to sell always. Okay. So listen, I hope this helped you. I'm going to go, I'm going to run in. If you did, if you found value, drop value in the comments, share it because I think people really need to hear this message. And it's something I'm going to continue to teach is sales and marketing, uh, sales and marketing to entrepreneurs, business owners, and to network marketers. Cause I think it's so huge and it's yes, goes along with the branding. I'm always preaching branding, building your brand. And that is marketing yourself. And there's a lot of mindset around that because you have to give very vulnerable and allow people in. And so 
it all falls under the umbrella of branding. So I'm really excited to get my academy up and running, my Brand Masters Academy. It will be coming soon. I have a couple hundred people already on the list waiting for it. And uh, these are the things I'm going to be talking about inside the community because I know people want to learn all the sexy stuff like social media and this and that. I Listen, I get how to overcome objections and closing. I get it. But you also have to learn how to brand yourself the right way, how to build your story, your brand story, and how to sell and market to people as well as, you know, strengthening that mindset. So these are things I'm going to be talking about. Now, if you want to get on the list for the Academy, um, just put list in the comments and I will send you a link and you can um, get on it so you get notified when it comes. I'm hoping August, the beginning of August, um, it takes a little bit to put something like this together, um, but I'm working on it. So you guys have an awesome weekend. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate you found value in this. Thank you for the high five, Beverly. I go, I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. Let me know your plans this weekend. Are you doing anything fun? We are going to a six-year-old birthday party today. Yay. <laughs> My best friend's daughter. She's so cute. Um, but what happened? Beverly, sad Serena didn't win Wimbledon, but oh my God, OMG, what an awesome mom. She'll be back. I don't even know what you're talking about, but I'm sorry, Serena did not win Wimbledon either. I, I don't really watch tennis, but um, all right, guys, have an awesome day. I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.